All right, I'm here with Max. And don't be fooled, this is actually Max's face on my mask. Uh, Max is uh, basically a uh, border terrier who's been living with me. Uh, he knows with a lot of anxiety. In this video, I'm gonna show you a trick that I use to help Max have a positive association with people. Max has a little bit of anxiety, that's a little bit of it right there. So basically, this is gonna be what we call the engage disengage game. I often like to refer to this as click for looks. Maxwell. So what I want Max to do is I want Max to look at something. Now, when you're doing this game, it's important that Max, uh, the anxiety that you showed there, that little whining, is not, a, that's an example of him uh, not being in the right frame of mind. Crash? Yes. Um, and if he's barking or whining or making that sound or lunging or he won't listen to you, he's too close to whatever the thing is. I think Max is just excited to do a little training at this point. So basically, um, the idea for this is we want to gradually expose our dog to something that we think it might be reactive to or we know it's reactive to, but at far enough a distance where he doesn't feel it to be a threat, but close enough so that he's aware of it. If you get too far away, he won't even pay attention. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using a clicker. Now Max has already been clicker trained. If you're ever gonna do this, you need to make sure you prime or load the clicker. So if you're gonna do this, you're somebody else watching, uh, look up a video on how to prime or load the clicker. We have them on our website as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, as soon as Max looks at the guardian who's behind me, she's gonna walk kind of back and forth. And as soon as he looks at her, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give her a signal to start walking and pacing. As soon as Max looks at her, I'm gonna click to let Max know, I like you looking at that person. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna give him a treat. And we're just gonna repeat this. This is the first part of the game, which is called the engage, getting the dog to look at the thing without reacting. So let's go ahead and start walking. And if he's just staring at you, you might be using too high a treats. Now I'm watching his eyes. Normally I would have a dog on a leash for this, but I don't have to worry about it in here. So as soon as Max looks at the person, I'm clicking. I could also say nice, good, thanks, or uh, yes, which are good marker words. So when I become boring, that's when Max is gonna be more likely to wanna to pay attention to whatever it is. Now I'm using the trick or trainer treats, which might be too high a value for doing doing this. So if he's just focusing on you and he's not looking at the stimulus, then you might switch over to the Charlie Bears or a lower level like a cookie treat. So the idea for this is you just want to keep on doing this at this distance until Max is looking at the thing right away. Um, and then when as soon as he hears a click, is looking away. Yes, you're too focused on me, but that's okay. Um, so that's the first part of the game. Now let's say that we're, and you can stop pacing. So let's say that we're 25 paces away. The two tests that I use, can I get Max to sit? Can I get Max to take a treat? So you will keep on getting closer and closer and then take a couple steps, stop and ask him for a sit. If he has difficulty sitting or he won't take the treat that you know he likes, that means he's getting ready to erupt. The whole point of this process is he does not erupt at all. So uh, at that case, I would probably step back up a step, ask for a sit as soon as he can sit and take a treat. That's when I would start practicing. So let's say we're practicing here and this is 25 paces. Well, then maybe uh, after I practice maybe five or 10 of these and Max seems pretty relaxed and comfortable, then I could either move with Max closer or we can have them stimulus move one step closer and then we practice again. Now we're doing this exercise for Max because there's a couple of German Shepherds live on the backside of the, of the yard. Max being a terrier sometimes isn't the best with other dogs. So what you could do for this is you could be sitting on your deck upstairs when the weather's not unreasonably cold. And as soon as Max looks at the other dogs, you click and give them a treat. Now, after a while, uh, instead of the click, you could use a marker word of one of, of the dog's name. So let's say you say Kodak, and then give him the treat every time he looks at Kodak or whatever the dog's name is. And so at first you're on your deck, and then maybe you're on, uh, you're on the steps to your deck. I probably wouldn't do it on the steps. I'd probably do it on your deck and then downstairs on the, on the lawn, keeping Max on a leash so Max isn't going to run towards him. We want to be able to control the situation. So this might, we might go from the deck, and he does really well for 15 treats, and we go down to uh, the bottom of the deck, so we're like essentially one step closer, and he does that for about 20 treats, and then we, we're one step closer, 20 treats, and then we get past that, he has difficulty sitting or taking the treat, he's getting ready to his breaking point. So we started at 25, 24, 23, 22 is when he had problems. So we would back up, you always wanna end on a positive. So we'd back up to 23, get a good couple positives in there, then call Max inside, go inside, and then you're done for the day. The next day, maybe we would go uh, to uh, 24. I usually start one step beyond what we started for before to make sure he starts off in a warm, positive way. So this might take several practice sessions, but eventually you wanna get to the point where you're at the fence and the other dog is right on the other side of the fence and Max is looking at that dog and comfortable. 
Now, ideally, you want to do this from different angles. I don't want to only have Max practicing here. I'd like to practice this side of the yard, that side of the yard. So he's kind of looking at all sorts of different points of the yard. So this is the engage part of the game where we're getting him, we're just rewarding him for looking at the other dog without reacting. The second part is we're going to actually teach him to look away. So I'm going to have my guardian uh, is behind us and she's going to start pacing again. And what I'm going to do is when Max looks, I'm going to one, there we go. Uh, I should have clicked for that one. So, well, he's doing an eye dart, so he's doing it very quickly. We've already done this with him. That's why I want to go over this exercise. The disengage part is if I'm going to play the part of Max, I'm going to say that you're the stimulus. So I look at, and you can stop pacing, sorry. So um, I look and I see something, and within five seconds, I turn away and look back at my human. The reason the dog turns away is because we've been doing the engage game. So now he looks at the thing, and then I make the click, and that causes him to turn away from it. So what happens after enough practice that, he looks at it, and one, two, three, four, five, if he doesn't look by five, I might make a kissing sound like, and then he turns, and then I would give him a treat. But eventually, you want him to look at the thing and voluntarily look away from the thing and look to you and get a treat. And so again, you're gonna do the same thing at 25 paces, 24, 23, stopping before he reacts. And eventually you get closer and closer to the point where he can look at the dog and then look away, and he's, he's practicing being calm, relaxed, and comfortable. Um, all right, Max, go get that one. Come here, buddy. Sit. So again, when you're practicing this, it be, wouldn't be a bad idea to exercise Max a little bit beforehand. Just make sure he gets 10 minutes of rest. And don't do it if there's a lot of craziness going on. If you have to do what somebody doing a weed eater and there's kids playing on the other side of the street, there's too much commotion, that can make him a little bit uncomfortable. So we want to make sure that we're picking and choosing our battles so that it's as easy as possible for him. I see our, our camera person is flexing a little bit because I've been talking a little bit long. This is my little buddy, Max. And this is how you can play the engage-disengage game.